So today we're going to be taking a look at Mace Windu based upon his appearance from Attack of the Clones for the TBC line. And to me, this is the best Mace Windu that we've gotten to date. Uh, so this particular one you're looking at here is the original one that came out back in 2011. Uh, there is a re-release that came out within the last six months or so. And I do have that one as well carded, which I'll show you here in a second. Uh, so what makes this action figure so great is it looks exactly like Sam Jackson, in my opinion. Uh, you can't really get much closer than that. And it still holds up really good today after all these years. It's a 10-year-old action figure, 11-year-old action figure at this point. Uh, but anyways, we'll take a look at the package first. Like I said, this is the re-release with the face printing tech. Show you what the two of them look like side by side. The action figure itself is the same exact thing. It's just the face printing is a little bit different. And personally to me, I actually prefer the original version over the re-release with the face printing. I'll talk more about that in, here in a minute though. Very nice image of Mace there from the Battle of Geonosis. This was VC-35. This came out with the Attack of Clones wave. It had the Peasant Disguise, Anakin and Padme. It had Zam Wazel. Uh, it had the Senate Guard. It had Kit Fisto. And then the Nick 2 Jedi as well. I do have Anakin and Ahsoka reviewed on the channel, and Fennec, the Mandalorian, and the clone as well. I'll get to Yoda and the Obi-Wan eventually as well. So that's the package. So like I said, this is the best looking Mace Windu we've gotten to date in the Hasbro line. To me, you can't get any closer than that really to looking to Sam Jackson. Hasbro did a really good job on this. Definitely one of the highlights of the TVC line. So in terms of the articulation, he does have the ball joint at the neck there, and he has a hinged shoulders as well, hinged elbows, swivel wrist, then technically a hinged torso, yeah, it's a pretty good hinge there, uh, swivel hips, then hinged knees, and hinged ankles as well. In terms of accessories, it comes with exactly what you would expect him to. It's a purple lightsaber, and this is one of the best lightsabers I think we've gotten. Hasbro did a really good job with the detailing on his hilt there. It has very striking colors, and I really like how this purple is a very deep, or yeah, a deep purple. <laughs> And he also does have the unignited hilt as well. And it does fit very well on his belt. Right there. And of course you could take his uh, robes off too. But I typically don't display Mace Windu without his robes. Looks pretty good. The hood fits all right over his head. I don't think it looks too awkward, but most of the time we don't really see Mace with his hood up anyway, except what, maybe in the Phantom Menace. 
So I just keep his hood down anyway. And he holds his lightsaber pretty well. Kind of hard to get him in a two grip position. Uh, but other than that, I think that's really all there is to say about this action figure. There's really not a whole lot to tell. Uh, like I said, I do think this is the best Mace Windu that Hasbro has made to date. I would highly recommend it for your collection. Personally to me, I think the original is a lot better. In fact, I'll show you again. But I just think the, the face printing didn't really do enough justice for this action figure. So if you can't track down the original, I would recommend that one over the re-release. It is very expensive. Um, I think I got this one for like $30 about five, six years ago at this point. Uh, I do know it has gone up in price since then. And especially if you find it carded, it is very expensive. The re-release is at the time of this video is still easily accessible. You can find it for retail price. Um, some people might prefer the re-release over the original it's just personal preference uh, but anyways that concludes this review i hope you enjoyed it and found it informative uh, if you have not already please like the video and subscribe to the channel greatly appreciate it and stay tuned for more reviews in the future there's going to be plenty more to come and thanks for watching